Papa, okay, what is this now? Eh? What is all this now? What is what, Mabel? What is it again? Why won't you tell all these you useless women to call you when you are alone? Must you keep me standing here all day just to answer their calls? Eh? I don't put one latch in a phone. Mabel, at this very point in time, at this very stage, you're still angry over phone calls. Why won't I be angry? Eh? Why won't I be angry? Haven't I so far enough in the hands of women? Haven't I? Pastor, my wife has suddenly turned to side chick or whatever you call them. I do not trust any woman again. Besides, how am I supposed to know that it was Pastor Mike's wife you were talking with over the phone? How am I supposed to know? I have suffered and I will not suffer again with any woman. Marvel. Marvel. You it's because you choose to suffer. You choose to suffer. I mean, I relate well with every every everyone out there, both male and female. Mm. Yes. I chose to suffer. Out of ten phone calls, nine are women. What are you doing with them? I'm asking you. What? Mabel, I'm only relating well with them. Mabel, there is no crime in being a likable man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Story. So it is me now that is not a likable woman. Eh? What? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Take me out of Mabel, here. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay? Emmanuel. Take me out of here. Please, work on your attitude. Kids and I worried. Okay, this is what happened. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you okay now? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I am good. Okay, Honey, let me tell you, you what happened. You went out with Chidi, came back and refused to talk to anyone for three good days. <laughs> you kept the kids and I mute and traumatized. You have lots of explanation to make. I know, I know. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, Chidi took me to one man of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outskirts of town. Now this yes. man is so powerful, I tell you. He prayed for me, prayed for me, and later the man said, I have to pray and not even utter a word while praying. And while I'm at it, I shouldn't talk to anybody for three days. Three oh. days. You see? So I couldn't talk to you. That's what happened. But you should have told me. Maybe I would have joined Maybe it was something I had to do by myself. I'm so, sorry. How do you feel? So, so, are you okay now? I am good. I'm good. No nightmares, no hallucination, no bad dreams, Honey, no nothing. Nothing will happen ever, 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 ever again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I told you there's fine. Please. I know, I know. I'm talking. I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> direction to Chioma Street. Chioma Street? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know what you will do? Just walk down the streets. Okay. Take the street by your left. Count four pole from the left. 
the next building by the right. right. I think that was the place. Thanks. Okay? Yeah. All right. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on here? Who are you? What do you want from my husband? I'm sorry, Ma. I missed my way. I'm just asking for direction. Will you shut up? What direction? Hey? From direction now, you will ask for his phone number. From phone number, you will end up in the hotel. From hotel, you want to come back home and where? It will not work. I will not take this, Emmanuel. I will not. Mama, will you stop all this rubbish? What is the meaning of all this? Why are you embarrassing this poor girl? What is a poor girl? This one. One week of knowing you now, she will turn to a rich girl. I will not be the one suffering at home. Managing. Emmanuel, give me money. I don't have. Emmanuel, you might go. I don't have. This will not work. Oh. Enter this car. Let's go. Let's go. Stop it. Mabel, what has come over you these days? <laughs> Imagine the way you just embarrassed me before that little girl. Emmanuel, so you had the guts to touch a girl before me? Eh? You touched that girl before me? There is no problem. Oh. There is no problem. You would have followed her home. Follow her home and go and pet her. Mr. Direction. Mabel. Mr. Direction. Mabel, <laughs> can you please stop this madness? Stop all this nonsense. Imagine the way you disgrace yourself before that little girl. Mabel, Mabel what, has, what has come over you? Why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you so insecure? What is your problem? Who is the little girl? I ask you again. That I got the one that I saw. A little girl. That is what you men say. Now she is a little girl. Tomorrow she will become mommy on you, on top of your bed. I will not want you again. You will not want me again. Keep disgusting yourself. Right. You will stop and touch another girl. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Take me home, Biko. Oh, we are going home already. Take me home. We are going home already. Ogachi, oh, the way you are treating your wife, Onome, is not good. Eh? As a fellow woman, I know what it means for a woman to be treated like a rag, just the way you are treating her. Next thing now you will say, she is too fat, she is shapeless, she is too big. What is wrong in somebody being fat? Eh? What is wrong in somebody being fat? Must everybody be slim? Must everybody be an Albany? Okay, you forgot that being fat is even an attribute of an African woman, a true African woman. Let me also remind you that her fatness is as a result of the childbearing. Four children! Is it a joke? Look, I don't like it though. From today, stop it. Stop treating her like a rag. She's not a rag. Ogene? Really? Yes! <laughs> um, Madam Mebel, let me ask you. Is it Onome that sent you to tell me this or you're acting on your own? Does it matter who sent me? Eh? It doesn't matter. The most important thing is that I have come to warn you. Stop treating Onome like a rag. Eh? You're cheating on her and it's not good. Stop cheating on your wife. What is this? <laughs> anyway, uh, for the records, uh, Madam Mabel, I am not cheating on my wife. Liar! You can lie for Africa. Look at you. Your story is everywhere in town. You are lying and you know it. Stop cheating on her, Biko. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, what do you even mean by cheating? Chimo, what kind of question is that? Okay, you don't know the meaning of cheating. No, I don't. I will define cheating for you. Go ahead. Cheating is a process by which a married man leaves his beloved wife at home and picks all these small, small, small pinchomic girls in town and be parabolating and gallivanting all over. The Riego family. That is what cheating is all about. I have explained it all. Mm. Yes. Wonderful. According to Advanced Lena's uh, dictionary, eh? what you're saying by implication is that um, a man having one or two girlfriends out there or a few side chicks is what you call cheating. Is yes, that, 
That is cheating. Very simple definition. Really? Yes. No, it is not cheating. Then what is it? It is what it is. Yes. It is exactly what it is. Not cheating. Who even defined cheating? I am asking you, who defined cheating? Who defined this word cheating? I am asking you a question and you are using question to reply me the question. Uh, because you did not understand. Mm, let me explain to you, Madam Mabel. Eh? Madam, I too know. My father married five wives. Five. Four wives after my mother. So, are you saying that my father was cheating on my mother? Are you following me now? Or would you prefer that I marry four more wives to join to Onome? Which one do you prefer? Oh. Okachi, huh? you're a very bad man. Story. You are wicked. Story. You are heartless. What do you Story. For telling you the truth, eh? Please. Please. Stop cheating on your wife, oh. Be faithful to your wife, oh. Ha! Story. Hey, hey. Well? Sabina, you be ready. What's your name? I'm Sandra. You're Sandra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sandra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now you definitely track us, pants. Madam. Mind you, I, I, do I, I do not have any business with you. Uh, I do not have any business with you. Forget your eye, they shine like pussy cast. You don't shine like cast. I don't know if you are you. Is it my fault you can't take care of your home? Is it my fault? Okay, Nana, you get home to take care of. So as I be like this, now you don't know if you are Respect yourself. Just For size, me and you, Madam. Respect yourself, Madam. For size, me and you, Madam. Madam, respect you. Come here, you be small picky. I go play you like sister. I am respecting you. Keep quiet. Respect yourself. Madam, respect yourself. Now we got here. I'm respecting you now. Respect yourself. I don't have any business with you. I'll change it for you. You don't change it. I'm just respecting you now. Because you're being nice. I said I'll change it for you. I'll change it for you. You don't change for me. Give me my ring. Give you which ring? Give me my ring. Ah, you don't say. You don't know me, oh! You don't know me! 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 Mrs. Mabel, listen to me. If you are one of those who keep encouraging Onome to be getting fatter and fatter, then you are not a true friend. Huh? Yes. You are what is called frenemy. That is an enemy who disguises as a friend. That is what you are. Me, Mabel, frenemy. Number one, that's what you are. Why can't you open your mouth and tell your friend, your so-called friend, the truth? The truth that she is eating herself to death. That she has blown up with food and drinks. She has blown up like a balloon. With food and drinks. Cake comes, Onome will eat. Rice, she will consume. Uh, fufu, seven wraps. Uh, beer, stout, wine. The same person, in the same stomach. And then she expects me to, to, to keep loving and caring for her the way I used to. Who does that? You will do that, though. Ogachid, you will do that. Me? Yes, because she is your wife. Remember that marriage is for better, for worse. Oh, really? Yes. Even if it's leading me to death, eh? Okay, let me ask you. If I was a poor, wretched man, would Onome have married me? The answer is no. And assuming I suddenly get poor, right now, and begging for food. Uh, God forbid, that will not happen. But assuming it happens, would Onome still remain with me? The answer is no. So also, you will not expect me to keep loving and caring for Onome the way I used to, because things have changed. <coughs> yes, Wait. the same way she would have changed if I get poor. That's the way I'm changing. Yes. Ogachi, the way to, I want to understand something. Mm, go ahead. Are you trying to discard a woman who has beautiful children for you just because she is fat? Are you not being wicked? You are getting it all wrong. You are getting it all wrong. I never said I was 
discarding Onome. Okay. Neither have I discarded her. Onome is, in, is, is my wife. She mm. lives here with me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But the truth is that some things can no longer apply. That's just it. Okay. Okay, just imagine. Imagine for a moment that um, I want to be romantic and loving with my wife. And uh, in the night, I, I want to carry her, my wife, from the sitting room onto the bedroom and place her on the bed. Uh, just imagine me, <laughs> Chidi, carrying on me, eh? carry her like this from the sitting room up the staircase, bam, 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 onto the bedroom. Won't I end up in the orthopedic hospital? Eh? Does it matter where you end up? It doesn't matter. Oh, eh? really? Even if you end up in an orthopedic hospital, it's the same thing. Whatever you do with your normal, you are doing it out of love. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, so, oh, so even if I get crippled in the process, it is still it. Eh? Uh -huh. Crippled for love. It is the same thing. Oh, if, really? if you begin to talk like this, I will see you as a very <laughs> wicked man. What a title. Crippled for love. <laughs> it's not me. Uh, that headline. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Uh, that headline will not apply to me, please. Uh, uh, you can go with it. I cannot get crippled because of anybody. Mm. So that you can, you see? You see? You see the truth now. You want me to be crippled so that you know that I'm a gentleman. <laughs> I'm not that kind of gentleman. Gentleman, I'm back. I don't be gentleman at all. I don't be gentleman at all. Exactly. Eh? I eh? was thinking you are a gentleman. Oh, that is why I drove mm -hmm. all my way to come and talk to you. But yeah. it's obvious you are wicked and callous. I'm an African man original. African man original. Yes. Go to your house. Please, let me warn you. I just tolerated all your ranting because of your relationship with my wife. I thought you had something meaningful to say. Please, let this be the first and last time you're coming here to say this kind of thing. It is insulting, but I will take it. That's why I took my time to explain my situation to you. I am a typical African man. Okay? Uh, Onome is happy. Leave us alone. We know how to sort ourselves out. Okay? You told me she did not send you. It is out of your own personal uh, uh, aproko, uh, uh, um, um, your own amebo, out of your personal amebo-ism that you came here. Uh, please, go back to your house. Go and go and take care of your own husband. I only came to tell you to stop treating my friend like a rag because uh, she's not a rag. No problem. I will take my leave. Uh, go back to your house. Let your husband stop be treating, treating you her like, like a, a rag. Like, like Queen Elizabeth. I, I am going. Uh, he is treating you like a queen. We know. Stop treating on me like a rag. Story. She is not a rag. Uh, your husband is treating you like a queen Elizabeth. We have heard you. Uh, don't jump my car, oh. please. Don't jump my car. Be careful. Ah, uh, it's about murder. If you, you really need to separate your husband from that womanizing before he infects him with womanizing. Remember what they say. Show me your friend, and I will tell you who you are. Mabel, Mr. Chidi and my husband have been friends for a very long time, even before he got married to me. Okay, he's an architect and they collaborate in a lot of businesses. I can't possibly separate them. <laughs> architect! Mm -hmm. Architect, um, one, yeah, what? Women architect! That is what he is. Mabel, they are friends but have different lifestyles. You can't tell, oh. If you cannot tell. You know this saying that when you stay with evil people, you will end up becoming evil. Separate them now before it is too late. Oh. <laughs> I hmm. can't separate them. Yes, it's not within my powers, I mean. You can. can't. You can't. How? Them, use your woman power and separate them. Separate them, you have woman power. Okay, no problems. I'll use my woman power, my bedroom power, and separate them. I'll try. Oh, but I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. mm. We're having Thanksgiving get together. Thanksgiving get together? Yes. What happened? My husband suffered acute typhoid and malaria. Mm -hmm. But to the glory of God, he's fine now. So, want to thank God, want to just have small party with family and friends. Ah. Thank God that he didn't die. Malaria and typhoid, very bad sickness. Eh? Eh, it's, it's well. So you are invited? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I will come now. <laughs> when I am now, I will even buy purge medicine on my way home so that I will free my system. 
As this person don't know they enough. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? See, let me explain to you. You know things are very tough right now, okay? We're not having elaborate parties. Just small get-together with few families and friends. Mm -hmm. If if he <laughs> stop. See, anybody that has the mind to do Thanksgiving for malaria and typhoid, she also keeps some money for chicken and rice, fried rice. I what? never said there will be no rice or chicken. In fact, I have to run along. Let me go get my kids from school. Bye. Bye. Take care, oh. Bye. 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 chicken, chicken whatever. <laughs> hey, I want chicken and rice. Now, I will buy open. Oh, awful, oh, awful. Very important. Uh, Ify, what happened? We did not see you at the committee meeting yesterday. Hope all is well. My dear, I'm so sorry about that. I had a very busy day. I was held up in traffic for too long. Hey, whoa. So sorry. We tried your number several times. We called and called and called. But they were saying uh, unreachable. Don't mind those people, it's a network problem. I let her call the chairman to explain to him. <laughs> My dear, you missed. <laughs> the meeting yesterday was so interesting. Yes, so do you know that uh, Regina is a big 419 woman? Regina? I don't understand. How do you mean? Mm -hmm. The Regina, you know, our treasurer. She's a thief. Who knows she has us? How? Hmm. She used our money to do money doubling, and they duped her. Jesus, scammers everywhere. Eh, she came and was uh, telling us cock and bull story in the meeting, how she used the money to cure her brother of madness. Oh my God. That was what she said, though, that uh, her brother ran mad. He did uh, this Yahoo Plus, and the thing backfired on him, and he ran mad. They said he was driving along the road and suddenly came down on the express. He started shouting and confessing. Started removing his clothes. Before people could gather and help him, his John Thomas was already outside. <laughs> John Thomas never thought touch him. <laughs> Maybe this is not funny. I feel for him. My sister, it's not funny, oh. but we cannot come and kill ourselves. Yeah? You know these uh, young boys of uh, get rich today, die tomorrow. Yeah? Biko, let me ask you something important. How is your husband? He's fine. He's in the office. Mm. You see, your husband is at work. My own is lying down inside here, sleeping and snoring. He goes to office just two times in a week. Is it fair? But he's still not doing badly. Uh, is it well because he has me? One day, leave, for him alone, all these girls will finish his business money. He will go bankrupt. Thank God he has you. Mm. Ify, Ify, let it not be as if I did not tell you. One day I will kill somebody. I will strangle one of these his chummy girls that he's running after. I will kill them with my bare hands. You will hear the story, oh. Well, please. All men are the same. Please don't kill anyone. If you kill someone, you will definitely go to jail for murder. Mm -mm. Men are not the same. All men are not the same. My own husband is the chairman of all the womanizers. Bring them all. He is the chairman, the number one. But let him not worry. <laughs> one day, monkey go go market, he no go return. I will kill one of these girls. Ah, I will kill somebody. Don't say I did not say it. You will go to jail for murder or don't you? Hmm. Then you married a good husband. Just leave my useless husband. I will handle him. I know how to handle him. Oh, don't worry yourself. My darling, just take care of yourself, okay? Nguano, eh. I, I will speak with you later. My mood is already changing. Nguano. Oh, bye bye in name. Bye. No, me. Do you know that your husband is a very useless man? <laughs> He's very stupid. He has answers to every question. Only mm. eh? as if he's a woman. Ah! Uh, that's very good. At least you have seen what I've been seeing all these years. I've been suffering all these years. You've really suffered though. Mm. But from the way 
your husband answered me. I think you need to fight this battle yourself because I don't want anybody to insult me. No, 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 not me, not Mabel. He cannot insult me anymore just because I'm trying to help a friend. Mm. No, you have to fight this battle yourself, please. Uh, oh, there, me. You said I should come and fight the bastard. Eh? I should come and fight Basto. So I should come and sue Basto as now. I should come and sue it in my mouth, the Basto as. Or I should carry my, carry, carry, carry my husband on my head, like Osuka. Eh? How do I fight the Basto? Very simple. Mm -hmm. Remember, you once told me that you will give him war. Mm -hmm. You will fight. Yeah, what? Hey, <laughs> confront your husband. Were you not the one that told me once that you will give him war? Mm -hmm. War! Mm -hmm. Then this is the right time to give him war. Mm -hmm. Yes! Left for me, that is if you will listen to advice. I think you should leave all these small, small girls you've been calling, threatening, warning over the phone and all that. Leave them alone. They are not your problem. The real problem here is your husband. Confront him. He's the devil itself. I am telling you. See, <laughs> Mama, maybe I don't give my husband a chance. Wherever he goes, I go. Mm -hmm. Men are like children, and you need to treat them as such. I'm telling you. Mambe. Eh? Maybe. Mambe. Oh. All right, me. So wherever your husband goes, you goes. Yes, sir. If he goes, you goes. I goes. Hey, you see my own kind of husband. If he's going out, Miss No No. Mm -hmm. I don't used to know. When he wants to come out like a rat, you will see him jumping out. I will not be seeing him. I'm asleep. Before we come back now, like a like a, a mosquito, I'm asleep. Oh. Mm. Mm. I'm a man. Mm? You are even the cause of your problem. Mm. Mm. Yes, you're not helping matters at all. Eh? Mm. Mm. What do you want me to do? Hmm? You have resorted. Mm. Continue, continue. Yeah, no, man. I'm hearing you. I need to make a room. You cost me your luck with Abby. How can I cost my own friend? You cost me. I am not costing you. Mm. I am telling you that you need to help yourself. How can you spend all your time and day eating, drinking, watching TV, sleeping? Don't you know the more you do that, you get fatter and fatter and fatter? Mm. If you continue like this, <laughs> with the way your husband answered me, the man I saw is willing to bring Gin Sweet 16 into this house any minute. <laughs> oh, Tobe! <laughs> war! 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 I will declare war! <laughs> Give him war! You see me now that the kind of anger, you see me now the kind of anger I have. <laughs> It's loading. <laughs> you see me now shaking my leg. Anytime you see me shaking my leg, just know that I want to kiss somebody. Mm. Mm. I will sub somebody's ear, yes. I will suck hand in his trust. Mm. Hey, hey! In my own kind of matrimonial homes. Hey, another gear. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Onome, ah, you have hey. to fight your husband. Mm. Eh? Fight this battle yourself. You can beat him up. Mm. With one hand, strangle him. <laughs> Name, eh? You need to also help yourself. Mm. Mm. When you wake up in the morning, don't put anything, don't even drink water. Eh? Do some exercise. Mm. This compound is big enough now. Mm. Run around this compound like 100 times in the morning. In the afternoon, mm. you will run 100 times. Mm. In the evening, you will come out again and run 100 times. That's 300 times in a day. If you do that, you will just. I'm slim like a bunny overnight. Who is pursuing me? Pursue yourself. Mm. You don't need anybody to pursue. Just be running around and pursuing yourself. I'll be running around and be counting. Randa, randa. When nobody now is pursuing me. Pursue yourself. Ah. Hey. Alright, me. Help yourself. Ah, uh, uh, your head is sour. Wait, let me show. I you. should be running when nobody is pursuing let me. Let me show you what I. I don't understand. Stand up. If you don't want to run, you will run your own first now. Oh no, man, stand up. Uh. Keep this thing. Help your destiny. Where did mommy give me my this to me now? Help your oh. marriage. Oh yeah, add me up. Help your oh, marriage. Hey. Jesus. The wicked landlord did not give me any notice. Okay. Nothing at all. Right. He just went to one junk court. I 
came back on Monday. Wait, hold on, hold on. What did you just call it? It's a junk record. Which court can grant such an order? <laughs> you may proceed. I came back on Monday. What did I see? Yes. Court judgment. Okay. Court's judgment. I'm telling you. Give you a court's judgment. And then what? Mr. Lubel, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. So, so you were saying, um, so you were saying, um, you, he, he gave you a, a, a court order, right? No. Yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah. He didn't give me any notice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The worst of it now is that he started throwing my properties out. He started throwing your property out. Out! What's wrong with you? Mr. Ben, are you okay? Someone help me, please. Hey, Mr. Luke. Hey, Hope. Hello, Mabel. Hello, Ify. I've been calling you since now. You're not picking. I'm sorry, I was busy with something. Ify, Ify, Ify. Eh? I was even thinking that you and your husband were busy in the bedroom this hot afternoon. I was busy with something. Don't mind me, I was just uh, joking with you. Eh? My dear, I was calling you to inform you that I'll be coming for your Thanksgiving with my very good friend. She came down from abroad. Yes, Germany to be precise. Hey, she likes staying in my house each time she's around though. And she will want me to take her around the town for sightseeing. At my own cost. Ah! You know these abroad people, very stingy. Mm -hmm. Bring down a less change. But she will want to test and eat everything on the road. Eh. Uh, my dear, I just said I should inform you that I'll be coming with her for the Thanksgiving. Hey, that's why I was calling. Mama, the Thanksgiving won't hold again. Huh? No. What? Why? What, what happened? I've already told her we are going for a Thanksgiving ceremony. I understand and I'm so sorry for the inconveniences. The thing is, my husband got a call to be in Abuja on the same day. So we decided to postpone it. I was even about sending bulk SMS to everyone before your call came in. Okay, so when we fix the new date, I'll let you know. Uh, it's, it's okay. There is no problem. Eh? Uh, I, I, I will just uh, bring her so that we will say hi to you. I don't connect them. Yes. Alright, no problems. You can. Uh, thank you. Eh? Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ify and her husband. They are very stingy. They behave like one J people. Hey? How can they just fix a Thanksgiving service? And I was happy. Now I'm going to eat chicken and fried rice. You know, rice is okay. So suddenly they cancelled it. Hey? No sense and ingredients. No sense, people. We we'll still go to her house. Akwara is sad. Ah, Ada, what is it? Why is your face like that? Come, come, come to me. What is it, my baby? What is it again? I heard when you were telling your friend that the Thanksgiving party has been cancelled. Why do you have to cancel it? Is that why you're crying? Hmm? 
Listen, it's been cancelled. Because daddy got a call to be in Abuja on the same day we're supposed to have Thanksgiving party. We're going to postpone it and reschedule when it's convenient for your dad. Don't you want to go for a vacation? Don't you want to go for summer? Don't you want to go to London? Do you want to go to America? Yeah, but daddy needs to make money. Okay? So you don't have to get yourself locked up, okay? We're still going to have our Thanksgiving party. Just that the date needs to change. It has to change. So that daddy can go to Abuja and make money for Ada and Junior and Mommy. Hmm? Yes, smell for me. I love you, baby. Honey? Yes? There's this man of God I want us to meet. Man of God? Yes. What's special about him? His name is Pastor John and he's a very powerful man of God. He said he can deliver you of your problem. Wait, Ifoma. Wait. Why would you go before a man of God and tell him our private problems? Eh? Why would you go for everyone, for, for the whole world to hear nonsense? Honey, calm down. I didn't do that. No, you're lying. I've never lied to no, you. No, that's a big fat lie. You know you're lying but right you now. No, I've never lied to you. No, you're lying right now. No, I didn't lie. He said he saw it in a vision. What vision? What vision? What are you talking about? This for one churches, don't you know they have informants? Well, he saw what? My darling, it's worth trying. What? What? There's because nothing worth... this is becoming unbearable. Listen, there's it's nothing getting... worth trying. Don't tell me that. It's not worth trying, please. What do you want me to do? Go before some gullible congregation and disgrace myself out there so they will be witnesses to my case of what? Insanity? Baby, is it not better you disgrace yourself in the house of God than to disgrace yourself in public? Ifoma. When you're ready to sleep, huh? Put off the lights. Oh, baby, please good don't night. say, listen. I, I said good night. Doctor's wife died. Mem, I heard you talk. What is really going on? I don't know. The rate at which people are dying is just incredible. I'm a mago in a bufa. Things are hard these days. Nah, the economy is bad. It is really bad. Oh, what's going on, man? Can I mem? Mem. Close to my house. <laughs> Well, well, see, okay. oh? we'll see you tomorrow. No problem. Mama! Nah! Hey! Mama! 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 Hey! Nana! Mama! You're back? Yes. Where are you coming from? I left the city early hours today. Is Here your... I am. Hey! Nana! What are you doing? Nana! Oh, you're in Atazimoto. Oh, you're okay. in Atazimoto. Hello, Machuku. This is my car. Hey! <laughs> your car! Olo. Hey! Jesus! Oh, your own! Olo Machuku! Chineke! Olo Machuku! Olo Machuku! Olo Machuku! Mama, 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 Mo! Olo Matano! Jesus! Hi! God, am I worthy? Am I worthy to have such a gift back inside my compound? I hope you enjoyed the food. Yes, Mama. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yeah. You make up. It's a word, you know. Um, nah. Something I want to discuss with you. Now that God has blessed you, 
Okay. Uh, my girl, if you want, yeah, talking about getting married, I mean, look, you're my only son. You need to find a wife and settle down and have your children. I mean, that would be good for everyone. Yes. Mama. Eh? Uh -huh. I'm not a kid yet. Them, them, them. I come from a man. I know that you have something you want to tell me. Yeah. Well, um, I understand. I understand. But uh, there are a few things I would want to put in place before thinking about marriage. Hey, Naibia, put in place things like what? Mama, can't you see? I want to finish that house for you. Eh? And. Uh, not just that, I plan putting up a big edifice here. I will come architect because I will have a lot of money. You will like it, Mama. I told him. And um, maybe after that, I will think about marriage. Or even before that, I can get married. Come on, my wife, my wife and I will come in and finish it. But let me finish this your own first. Can I move go there, bag? You go. Na rap go far. Is this not a house? A ebimilo. Mama, this house that you, you and your husband built many years ago. Eba kicho ko dogu ne. Mama ne go di height, ne go di udo. Unu se. Mama ne pio ba bunye. Ne ne bende na. Eh, okay, we take go ni doze me stress. <laughs> I need to finish this. Let me build it. You will like it. Me chele me enge me na finish it now. Na you will like it. Mama, I want to finish that house so that we'll move there. Then from there we'll think about this big mansion. Ogodi nise. If you want me to get married first, no wahala. But this one, let's finish it first, Mama. Be cool. Nah, odogu kisi abo odogu. Listen, you don't have to have everything before you get married. You know, say unye then. We can be talking about all these ones now. I know. Oh, come on, come on. I know. It's okay, Mama. I've heard you. But, um, I, I promise you, it will not take time. Mm? You know, this time, time I will sort that out. Mm. Yes. Uh, in that case, now I can start looking for a wife for you. I, I would look within our village. Totally one chalacha. I wouldn't want you to go and bring in those city girls into this house. Mama, it's okay, Mama. Mm? Eh? Mm. Oh, no, no, I don't want to come catch you at my age. You want to bring in a girl for me? Chelo, get your age. Come on, Mama. It's an unhappy family, so now. Hey, hey. Come on, Mama. Picture you, me picture you. Now, see at your age. Hey, hey. Come on, Papa. Mama, Mama, Mama. Mm? You win. Go ahead and get someone. But you should know that your boy is no longer a village boy. Akoko. Your son. <laughs> I am no longer a village boy. You. Everybody comes from one village or the other. One can you see no other. It's okay. Mm. Get one. Let me come my audition. Come on now, we can go. Let me take this inside. Oh, that was so. You've done well. Everywhere is clean. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mama. There's one more thing that you owe me. What is it, Mama? That song that makes me <laughs> happy. Okay, Mama. Since you want the song, I'll sing it for you. <clears throat> Go ahead. Chioma me, chioma. Chioma me, chioma. Chioma me, chioma. Chioma me, chioma. Chimaro bimu, chioma. Chioma me, chioma. Okwa gi mere mi himbuta. Chioma me, chioma. Ya boe ya gi kambu no bi. Chioma me, chioma. Mbene hiura gi Come 
Yes, Mama. The girl is beautiful. I told you. But she's uh, she's not educated. Oh yes, and you know, <laughs> we city boys we want educated ladies to fit into our status. You know that, Mama. Oh, who told you she's not educated? The girl has finished primary education and has entered college. Besides, she's young enough to start off any school that you want her to end up in. Kabronso. No. So? No wahala. No wahala. When next I come, we'll start the marriage process. When next? And let's start it immediately now. You're here. What else? Do you find a No, ma. But I told you, I came to see my contractor, the engineer that will fix my mansion here. Hey, mama, I'm plan I didn't like you, so I can't swear plan. Eh? Please, we need to start this building project very soon. So, want to discuss? Let me foot the bills for the materials. Can go to if and I'm can wool gababo no. Eh? Kema no dogu kemo. Mama, I want to make you proud. Yes. The past years that you've been in pains, the tears, everything you've been through, Mama, I want to wipe it out. Oh. I want to make you happy. I want you to enjoy. Eh? Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'll make you proud. Thank you. Make you proud. Do oh. not worry. Eh? Do not worry, Mama. Don't worry. I'll make you proud. Hmm? Go. Hey, you know what you're so The lady. By August, our New Year festival. They could be see. I will see once more. I will check in there. Okay, man, I got to down. Can fix the marriage then. Can wear her film camera for now. The bride price is small now, hey man. I told her to try her physical. I wore her physical. I try her wire wire. Mami, I'm all coming. Why, why? Come on, you put your money wherever. Why, why? Oh, just physical. Oh, just. Let's go to your house. I'm going to. Kaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't put him. Oh, don't put him. Hey, what are you going to be doing? I'm not alone. Mama, Nana no longer picks my call. I don't know what offense I've committed. He told me to come and spend the weekend with him in Lagos. But I told him it's not yet time. I don't know if that's why he's angry. No, Makakwa, you can't go to Lagos. He's a Lagos kid. He's a man. Stop crying, it's okay. You know these men that live in the city? Hanao. Eh? Well, once they get to the city, they get carried away. But once they're back home, Eh? They face reality. 
He got to go. So stop crying. That one is not a problem. Mama, please help me talk to him, mother to son. People already calling me Nana's wife, and if it doesn't work out, they are going to laugh at me. But that is what you are, Nana's wife. Nana Yanogi. You know, but do not worry. I have heard you. Thank you, Mama. You know, Nana and I are very close. Anytime I advise he listens, I will talk to him on your behalf. Oh, oh, Munya Nikib. Munya Nana. Yes, Mama. Munya Nana. Timunya Novela Mono. Mama, do not worry. Oh, man, I'm in Jaguar City. My car is not running. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, How are you? I'm fine. I I wanted to ask. Neka has not been coming to my house to help me lately. I hope all is well. All is not well. Your son rejected my daughter and she doesn't want to reject herself. What your son did is not good. After giving my daughter hope, he dumped her and you didn't do anything about it. You know children of nowadays, they have a mind of their own. I called my son. I tried to convince him to marry your daughter. And how can you be saying that I'm a carer? Am I not the one that recommended the necker for my son? Eh? That's the one. Because I'm surprised. I am still working on it though. Eh? Chupu my belly, everything will work out fine. But where is a necker? She won't even accept him again. She has gone to the city to stay with her sister. And she also wants to go to university. She said it's because of her lack of education that makes, made your son reject her. So she wants to see to the end of it. That's okay. Well, I have tried my best, but anytime you see her, Biko, greet her for me. Oh? I will. Uh -huh. And Biko, very, very, very. Let us not say because our children didn't get married or they are not talking to each other or whatever. Stop being friends. I want to do a kung. Where? We lead by example. Eh? I hope it won't spoil our relationship. So what? I'm not going to feel. Oh, one name. Oh, one Oh, one name. This could be so painful. When you love someone, yes, they are ungrateful. Looking for more. Do not let their smiles deceive you. Just because of love. It's really touching me Oh, my, my spirit, no one's soul If only metal or juice, you're a baby Oh, my, my, oh Please don't cry for me Persuaded him to marry her, he wouldn't have died. Maybe, just, just maybe. 
Imagine in the middle of um, myself and you know the action that action that day. Uh -huh. I mean he appeared. I started jeering at me. I had to run out of the place. Why did you have to run about mere imagination? You should have stood your ground, rebuked that 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 that, that, that idiot, and he would disappear. What are you saying? Look, it's all in your mind. He did not appear physically. It was in your mind. Only you should have just enjoyed yourself. Enjoyed myself. No, you said. Just it's it's you don't, don't, don't say this, please. What are you talking about? Look, you don't understand how this thing happens. Look, you just said I don't know. See, when this thing happens, it takes over my whole nervous system. Everything. Easier said than done. Listen, this thing is just like, just like asking somebody who has phobia for heights to look down when he's at the top of a skyscraper. <laughs> Please, don't go there. You know, I have height phobia. Uh -huh. Even me talking about it now, I'm feeling very, very uncomfortable. Uh -huh. wow. So, so, so wow. it's not, it's just not easy at all. This is very serious, uh -huh. very serious. So, so, so what do we do? This thing is affecting business. We are supposed to go inspect some properties at Ego Estate. Hmm. Now the whole thing is hanging. What do we do? Chidi, I am not going anywhere again. Until this problem is solved. I'm not going anywhere. People are beginning to think I'm mad. No, 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 no. That public disgrace, I don't need it again. Let me find a solution to this thing, first of all. For how long now? Ah. For how long? So what will be happening? What about business? What about family? How do you maintain your status and they will... Honey? Ah, uh, madam. Uncle Chidi. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the small call out. <laughs> thank you. I'm off to go get the kids from the school. It's all right, it's all right. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, Darling. All right, I'll be back soon. Okay. Such a strong and uh, loyal and understanding woman. Mm -hmm. Unlike the, <laughs> the uncoordinated one I have in my house who, who goes about whining and whimpering to every Tom and Dick. Every little thing that happens, she goes outside. Hey, he, he's, in this, he's a womanizer. He's a uh, uh. um, Boy, I'm going through things. Your wife has called me two times this week complaining about you. That I did what? That you know what you have been doing for? Nah, uh, nah, leave that matter. It is the same thing I'm talking about. She's been influenced by that loud mouth, uh, Mabel. Yes. She's using my wife to practice women liberation and uh, feminism. And my wife is falling for that nonsense. You just have to talk to your wife, okay? Tell her of the collateral damage this is causing herself, her family. You in particular. I mean, everything around her, you have to tell her. My brother, how many times? A thousand times I have talked to my wife about this matter. But you know what? No matter what you do, she goes back to her pity party. She wants to be pitied. Oh, this man is mad to you. Oh, he's a womanizer. That's just what she wants to hear. And Mabel and Co are giving it to her. No problem, let her continue. Maybe you'll be the one to go and talk to her. Who am I to talk to Do you know that she goes out there to fight? Fight, girl. Fight. Physical fight at this level. Ha. Hey boy, I'm going through things. You don't know what I'm going through. I'm telling you. Esim Noko. That is Esim Noko. Noko. I'm telling you. I'm just I'm just packaging this whole thing. Go him out again. Grab a leg over and have go. This is the mother of my children. So what, what can I do? Well, everybody has his own problem, but try and solve yours, please. <laughs> So don't compare this way with your own. Your, yours is huh? a temporary thing. Yours is physical. My own is spiritual. What are you we'll saying? We'll solve it now. There are so many spiritual solutions to all these things. Don't worry. You can't come. My, my own is for, for better, for worse. What can I do now? Ruben, look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. Ruben, look at just take a photo of the room TV. Look at what you've done. Are you proud of it? No, I need to know. Are you proud of what you've done right now? What is this supposed to be? What am I supposed to call this? Are you, are you hallucinating or something? What is really going on? 
You need to explain to me what is going on in this house. You're literally going insane. Wait, wait. What? What's, what's what? What's the TV doing? 